what's going on guys this is Kegpa here with another Alamo Jam video and in today's video guys I'm going over the top 10 rarest den items in Alamo Jam Classic as of 2020 and this list will be serving as the list for 2021. Now before I do actually get into the list I just want to briefly announce a giveaway I have going on right now which is for an orange headdress. What you need to do to be entered into this giveaway is first of all like the video, subscribe to my channel with notifications on, and then third of all go to the video link in the description below and further and further instructions over there. The giveaway does end when I reach 10,000 subscribers and yeah let's just get into the top 10 rarest den items. So coming up here at number 10 is the videographer plaque. Now this plaque was actually given out to jammers in 2016 and onwards and it was given out to people that were featured on the Alamo Jam YouTube channel and their video was actually featured on there or for players that have created video content based around Alamo Jam and have surpassed 150,000 subscribers on YouTube. Now since around maybe 2018, 2019, I don't think any of these plaques have been given out but since this plaque is so hard to actually achieve and it was mainly only given to jam ambassadors that's what makes it place here at number 10 on this list <laughs> So here at number 9, this is actually two items joined together because they are pretty much worth the exact same thing and I couldn't find a way that we could bump it up or bump either of these items down the list. So we just put them both at number 9. First one being the orange phantom rug. This was originally sold in Gem Art Furniture around October 2011 and it hasn't returned to source since its clearance of that year. The rarest variant used to actually be yellow but since spawning method was found and the hackers that found the spawning method targeted this yellow variant of the phantom rug orange den became the rarest because there was a limited amount of them compared to the yellow one then and then also the other item that is joined with the orange phantom rug here is the yellow umbrella holder this was released around november of 2014 and hasn't returned to stores after clearancing from jam art furniture after that year but these both are very similar because both items and their variants were not bought by a whole lot of people making the quantity of both of these items very scarce, thus placing both of them at number 9 on this list. Now number 8 on this list is the squash chair. The origin of this item is unclear if it was actually distributed through an adventure or if it was actually sold in Jam Art Furniture and then removed later on. But the item was removed either from the adventure or from the stores for being too inappropriate. But since so little of these were obtained through adventures or actually bought from Jam Art Furniture, makes this item extremely rare thus placing it at number 8 on this list. Now bringing us to number 7 on this list is the brown aquatic television. This was an underwater item sold in obviously the underwater jam art furniture and it was released in November of 2011 and then was taken out of stores for clearance of March of the following year. But due to the unpopularity of underwater lands in Animal Jam as well as using underwater dens, a lot of people missed out on buying this item obviously because not a lot of people check the stores. So this pretty much went into stores and out of stores without being noticed by a ton of people and that being the reason why there is so little of these now in the game and that is why we place this at number seven on this list Now to number 6 on this list is the horse coin. Now the horse coin was actually released beforehand in 2014 in the Forgotten Desert for a short period of time before being removed from the adventure prize pool. And then the following months of that it was removed from everybody that owned this item's account and they were reimbursed with whatever they traded for these horse coins. There was a lot of rumors on why this was actually removed back in 2014. A lot had to do with looking like a bottle cap for a beer company but it was never 
never actually confirmed. However, in May of 2019, Horse Coins made their return to the game from an Alamo Jam live stream where people could put their usernames in chat and if they were actually chosen to be a winner, they had a chance of winning a Horse Coin once the wheel on the live stream had been spun. So very few of these are actually in the game nowadays. This was also the very first 3D item on Alamo Jam that was actually released, so it is pretty cool to see that it's still in the game nowadays. But with that, that is number six, the horse coin. Here at number five is the reward plaque. Now this plaque is actually an unreleased plaque and a lot of people commonly refer to it as the glitched Howl plaque obviously because this item is exactly like the Howl plaque just with the name being different on the item. It's speculated that this item was given out to people before actually being changed out with the actual Howl plaque when distributing them to players when they submitted a Howl that got featured on Jammer Central. But however, since there is so little of these in the game nowadays, that's what players this is at number 5 on this list. Next up on this list at number 4 is the Yeti rug. Now this rug is actually already in the game without the face on it, but this one I'm actually talking about the variant with the face on it. This item is currently 3 of a kind with 2 of them actually getting into the game with the HHQ recovery program and one of them being hacked in around 4 years ago at this point. This is commonly referred to as the glitched Yeti rug because when this was distributed through the Alamo Jam Jamal Day gift calendar, it would show up with the face on it, but however, when you accepted it in your inventory, it would show up without the face on it. Technically, this is classified as an unreleased variant of the Poofy Rug, but since it is so sought after, that's what places it at number 4 on the list. Coming up at number 3 on this list is the Jambassador plaque. Now as the name implies, this was obviously only distributed to Wildworks Ambassadors from HHQ themselves. However, there was a few amounts that actually got traded or were hacked from old Jambassadors and ended up actually being traded around into the game. But since it is actually required that you do something other than trading for this item outside of Alamo Jam, like building an audience on YouTube or Instagram, that's what makes this item so sought after and hard to obtain, thus placing it at number 3 on the list. Coming up at number 2 is the toilet. Now similar to the horse coin, this was actually got into the game a couple of years ago. However, it was got into the game by calling HHQ after the item was found from a developer website. It was also removed the same time around the horse coin's removal in the game in 2014. However, similar to the horse coin, it was actually distributed once again through an HHQ live stream through a spin the wheel also. This item is currently only two of a kind with both active players expressing that they're not going to be trading it I'm pretty sure but due to the history of this item and scarcity of it makes it so sought after and placing it at number two on the list Now at number one on this list is the giraffe coin. Now this item is obviously quite similar to the horse coin, obviously just being the different animal on the actual coin itself. However, how this was actually got into the game was apparently it was recovered to a player as an apology gift from HHQ to just pretty much say sorry after they were hacked, presumably because of the database breach. This item is currently only one of a kind and it originally was owned by Pony Super. However, she actually has traded it since then and the current owner of the item is unknown but with that that pretty much wraps us up at number one on the list Now before I actually do wrap up this video and end it, I just want to go over briefly some honorable mentions that if these items were just a tad bit rarer, they would be placed on this list. Now first of all, I'm going to be talking about the brown depth charge. Similar to the brown aquatic television, 
Not many people bought this item since it was an underwater item and it kind of just came into stores and went on clearance without a whole lot of people buying them. Similar with the next item here, the orange globe, another obscure underwater den item that not a lot of people caught on with and bought when it was actually in stores. And then also we have the yellow grill which was similar to the yellow umbrella it released at the around the same time and not a whole lot of people bought that in this variant. And then finally the yellow planter, not a lot of people bought it in this yellow variant because I guess it just wasn't sought after by a whole lot of people but nonetheless these four items are pretty rare even though they didn't make it on this list. But uh, yeah guys it's pretty much going to wrap up the video here. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one. Make sure to leave a like on today's video if you did enjoy and let me know what you thought of it in the comment section below. What was your favorite item on the list? And I will catch you guys in the next one.